What's going on guys? I'm Latronis and today we're going to be talking about the Elder Scrolls Online Digital Deluxe Edition upgrade and whether or not it's worth it, $40 versus $60 or if you're buying the game, it's called the Collector's Edition, if you're buying the game for the very first time um, and that is going to be $60 versus $80. So yeah, $20 difference. We're going to see what you get for that $20. Uh, I'm going to show you all the items you get in the game so you can decide for yourself um, whether or not it's worth it. And then I'll tell you whether or not I think it's worth it. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to hurry and go through all of the um, pre-order stuff you get first. And then we'll go through all the stuff you get for the Digital Deluxe Edition. Um, so the first thing you get is the Warden costume since the new Warden class and everything's coming out. Uh, you're going to get the Warden costume that they used in all the trailers and everything, um, which is really, really cool. And then you're going to be getting the Dwarven War Dog Pet, which in the art images, I was like, okay, you know, it's okay. Um, but when I saw it in game, I actually thought it was really, really cool. And um, that's just definitely just a cool thing to get if you pre-order it. Um, and then you get the treasure maps. You get three Vardenfell treasure maps. I'm going to be making a video very soon on um, me going through and getting all the stuff from all the treasure maps and showing you guys the locations and stuff. So if you're interested in that, make sure to hit that sub button so you can see that video. Um, next up, you get one Dwarven Crown Crate, which um, they're not even out yet. I think when the game officially re releases on June 6th, yeah, on June 6th, um, they'll probably release the Dwarven Crates then, but if you're playing on PC, um, then the whole Morrowind expansion, everything is already out right now. So if you go buy it, um, everything will unlock and you'll be one of the first people to open up a Dwarven Crate, which they had some super cool, um, like Dwarven Wolf mounts and stuff. They're really cool. They're just like all like brass looking and mechanical, um, which is really, really cool. Super rare for you to get it just out of one crate, but you know, um, it's a cool little pre-order bonus. And then finally you get two 50% um, boost experience scrolls which just is going to help you out you know with your new warden class or even with your current character if you're not interested in the warden class um so yeah that's, that's just the cool stuff you get for just pre-ordering the game um and then for the advanced i was gonna say advanced edition for the digital deluxe edition or the collector's edition um the first thing you're gonna be getting is the armored war horse which looks super super cool i really really love it a lot um, so if you don't already have a horse, that right there is a really good reason to do the $20 upgrade. You get the Armored War Horse, which is really, really cool looking and exclusive um, to this. So, you know, down the road ways, if you're still playing this game, a lot, a lot less people are going to be riding around this horse. So it's kind of like an exclusivity thing. Um, along with the Dwarven Spider Pet, which is really cool. You know, one of those Dwarven Spiders and it lights up all blue and it has like a bunch of funny and pretty dang cool animations that it does. Um, Next up is kind of something that if you're interested in making money, I feel like you could use this to make money with, which is the Morok Tong Converter, which um, you can grab gear that you create and just right click on it and then you can convert it to Morog Tong gear, um, which I'll show an image on screen what the full set looks like. So if somebody is really interested in that set, you can craft it for them and then change it into Morog Tong gear and then sell it kind of at a premium price to get that Morog Tong look. Um, which I think people would actually be interested in and actually want to do because it is really cool looking armor. Um, next up, which is definitely one of the highlights of Digital Deluxe Edition upgrade is the gray bear. But the big caveat with this is that if you don't like the Warden class, if you're not going to play the Warden class, then this gray war bear um, isn't going to matter. I'll show a picture on screen of the brown bear and the gray bear. If you happen to like the brown bear better, then this upgrade isn't going to be for you. Uh, or this particular part of the upgrade isn't going to be for you. Um, but yeah, I really, really like the Grey Bear. I think it looks super cool. It kind of sticks you out from the crowd along with the horse and your Dwarven Spider. The last thing you get with the Digital Deluxe Edition upgrade or the Collector's Edition if you're buying the game for the very first time is these character emotes. Go ahead and show them on screen. I don't have the game up right now, but um, they're just like a bunch of emotes you can do when like your kill people in PvP because they have a whole new PvP mode. That is all the things you get for pre-ordering the game and the Digital Deluxe Edition upgrade. Um, personally, if you're buying the game for the very first time, um, the horse is really important. Um, and other than that, it's all cosmetic. Like your pet doesn't do anything. The Morok Tong gear converter, um, yeah, you can convert it and you'll look cool, but it doesn't do anything. The gray war bear doesn't do anything and the character emotes, they don't in reality they don't do anything it's all cosmetic it's all the way you look at your character so if you look at these things 
these cosmetic items i'll put them all up on screen so you can look at them so if you look at all these and you say yeah that's something really cool that i want and i would use a lot um then yeah that 20 dollars is probably going to be worth it but you can also consider if you just spend the $40 for the upgrade or the $60 for the game, then you could have that extra $20 to spend on, say, $15 for a month of, you know, ESL Plus or whatever, and getting like extra experience. Or you can put that $20 into crowns and just buy a particular amount that you want. Or you can take that $20 and put it into a bunch of crown crates um, if you're into that. But crown crates are really sketchy. I honestly wouldn't invest into them. But if you wanted to do that with your extra $20, then you could do that. Um, so yeah, personally, I my conclusion is it depends. Um, if you really like this stuff, $20 will guarantee you all of this stuff, which is really cool. Um, but what I would do is I would look at your $20 and then look at how many crowns you can buy with that $20 and then look through the crown store. Um, if you don't have the game yet, you can find the crown store online on the Elder Scrolls Online website. Um, so yeah, look through the crown store and just see what you can buy with $20 and see if you can put together a cool little set of stuff that's better than the digital deluxe edition upgrade. That's personally what I would do if I didn't want to buy um, the digital deluxe edition upgrade to make YouTube videos on. I probably would have taken an extra $20 and just spent it on crowns or a month of ESL Plus or you know there's just a bunch of things you could spend the extra twenty dollars on you know you could go to the store buy some mountain dew and doritos and sesh the game all night at 12 o'clock uh come on june 6th if you're on xbox or ps4 um you know there's a lot of extra things you can do with that twenty dollars so i would just compare what you could do with the twenty dollars in the game um compared to the stuff you get here thank you guys so much for watching if you're interested in seeing Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind content, walkthroughs, how-tos. We're going to be doing the treasure map soon. I'm going to be doing Warden builds. I'm working on a Magicka Healer Warden build right now. So if you're interested in that, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.